All right, people of the internet, you've asked for it. It's finally time. I've put it off. I did not want to do this video because I'm afraid you guys are going to be mad at me. I, I really am afraid you're going to be upset. So if you missed the previous videos we did on this, basically after we got the initial look at the Hogwarts Legacy common rooms, I'm talking the very brief glimpse, I did a tier list. Breaking it down, telling you guys which ones were my favorite based off that very limited look. Well, now that we've gotten a full common room reveal. I've broken all of them down. We found all the little secrets. Now I am ready, you guys, to do my official tier list. And of course, we may have to do one of these again when the game actually comes out because there are things that we didn't see in that little preview. But I have to say, you may be surprised to know that my opinion actually has changed quite a bit in some areas, not so much in others. But let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right in. So here I am in Affinity Photo. I've got the four houses here. And can I just say right off the bat, I do not think there's a bad common room. I really don't. And I'm not saying that just to please everybody. Uh, trust me, you're going to be plenty mad as we go throughout the video. I can I can see all the fights breaking out between the houses now in the comments. But in all honesty, you guys, like if I belonged to any of these houses, I would be very, very pleased with the common room. I just think they have done such a phenomenal job. So, I mean, I think at bare minimum, bare minimum, I'm going to put everything at least at a B right here at least at a B, certainly no Ds and certainly no Cs. I mean, we may see as we go through here, I may even eventually bump everything up to it at least an A, but we're gonna go through one by one. We can shuffle and change this as we go. Uh, but I really did struggle when I was trying to decide how am I gonna do this? Do I base it off of, you know, uniqueness? Do I base it off how true it is to the book? There are so many subjective factors here that, you know, it's, it's impossible to be objective with this. So. I'm just going to say straight up that I ultimately decided to do this based on where I would most enjoy to sleep and to live if I was attending a school. But which one of these would I be most comfortable in and just really have the overall best time in? You know, meeting new people, getting to talk to people, but also study and, and all of those things. Feel comfortable? Where would it go? So let's start off with Slytherin here. So in any Hogwarts test I've ever done, I am always lowest in Slytherin. So I am the exact opposite of, in terms of the traits and everything, you know, maybe I have some Slytherin qualities, but for the most part, it's always low on my list. Now, there are things about their common room that I actually did like quite a bit. First of all, I love the underwater feel and how, I mean, they nailed that in terms of book accuracy. I think it looks fantastic when you're walking into that room and you've got the stone, but the, I mean, you need light, right? You need some source of light and that at least provides some source of light. However, for me personally, I do not think I would like being underground. I, I, I just wouldn't, I would not like that. Uh, I would need even more light than what that's able to give. I mean, think about it at night and of course, it is Hogwarts, it's enchanted. There are gonna be plenty of ways that, I don't know, you can bewitch the glass to make it look like it's always sunny and shiny. I, I don't know, there, there are ways around that, I get it. But going off the look that we saw there, I'm trying to just think, okay, if it was night, there's not gonna be a lot of light getting in through there. Now, some other things that I just, personally, for me, I really do not love, all the animal skulls. I mean, and that would freak me out. Animal skulls everywhere, serpents everywhere. I mean, I counted more than 20 when I was doing my full breakdown video. That is does not jive with who I am. Serpents all over the place. So for me, right now, I'm gonna leave Slytherin at B uh, and say it would be the least one uh, least, least one, the least likely, it'd be the last one that I would want to actually live in. Put it that way. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is Hufflepuff here. Now, Hufflepuff was actually at the top of my last list when we did this the first time, and I'm going to go ahead right away and bump them to an A here. I just think they have done such a fantastic job with bringing this common room to life, and I know it's not truly the first time we've seen it, but I do think it's it's the first time we've seen it in such detail, and they have just done such an amazing job. I mean, it really does feel like you have these little burrows once we've actually been able to see the full reveal of the common room, these little burrows, and just this overall communal feel of the common room. There's so much life here. I think that's what they're really going for with all of the uh, plants that are about. They even have little snacks uh, around on the table being so close to the kitchen. Of course, the Hufflepuffs are going to have snacks, right? I mean, you, you have to have snacks if you're that close to the Hogwarts kitchens. Some things I don't like. Uh, honestly, all the plants being around, I, I would just be sneezing constantly. I, I know I would. I'm highly allergic to a lot of different things. I mean, I'm allergic to grass, you guys. Pretty much all types of grass. So I'd be spending so much time in the hospital wing asking them to make me some sort of specialized, uh, I don't know, specialized potion, anti-allergy potion. 
to make me be able to survive the Hufflepuff common room. But again, I, I talked about on the Slytherin common room how I wouldn't like being underground, and so I don't think it's fair to say I would like that for Hufflepuffs either. Even though the Hufflepuffs is definitely more of a bright, earthy feel, it is still underground, and I just wouldn't like that. I would not like constantly being underground every night. And another thing for me that was a little bit disappointing with the Hufflepuff common room is the fact that they did not have as many secrets, I don't know, little fun details to find. When I was going through and doing that video recap, breaking down all the different sections of the common room, you know, every little shot that we were able to get a look at, and I just didn't get the feel that Hufflepuff had as many secrets. Now, when the game comes out, I could very well be wrong. There could be a lot of things that we end up finding there, but at least in terms of just that initial video, the scenes that we were able to view in the trailer, there just wasn't as many in points of interest, I guess, would be a good way to refer to it. Whereas the other common rooms, I felt like there were constantly little things here and there that were jumping out at me as interesting. Now, I'm not a Hufflepuff, so maybe if you're a Hufflepuff, there are a lot more things that you found interesting and that jumped out at you in that trailer. But for me, not as much as the others. Okay, next we have Ravenclaw here. Now, Ravenclaw, oof. you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I got to put it above Hufflepuff. I got to put it above Hufflepuff here. Uh, the Ravenclaw common room, one thing that it immediately has going for it is just the source of light. I mean, it, it's so bright. It's so well organized, too. It, it, it's elegant. Everything is spaced out nice and neat. I was a fairly studious individual going through school, so I think I would have liked having the study areas. But for me, it doesn't quite elevate to S tier because it's almost too proper. I, I would constantly be going around the Ravenclaw common room just feeling like I'm going to break something. And they're, I don't know, a prefect's going to be upset with me if I do that and they're going to come after me and I'm going to be in trouble. I think the best way for me to describe the Ravenclaw common room is it really feels like a super nice museum. It doesn't feel like a place I would want to actually live and stay. And again, that's maybe just me. I would totally love to visit though. I'd love to visit, check out your common room, but then only hang out for a few hours. And then I got to go back to my common room, you guys, which is Gryffindor. Yes, I'm a Gryffindor. I'm trying not to let the bias show here, but uh, I was pretty disappointed, honestly, after that first look at Gryffindor. I just thought, you know what? They're not really showing us a whole lot here, and it, it's, it's such a hard one to do because we've seen it so many times. It's the common room that we know better than any other, but I have to put it at S tier, man. I really do. After we got this full reveal, it is 100% the common room that I would most want to spend my time in. There's just no doubt about that. The The one problem that I have with it is the, the rugs all over the place. <laughs> I do think that sort of a disorganized nature would start to wear on me a bit. But again, if I'm having to choose between that one and the Ravenclaw one, which was just super proper all the time, I'm going with Gryffindor. That's where I could be more comfortable. And, and that is the name of the game with the Gryffindor common room, I think, is it just, it puts comfort above everything else. You know, having the carpets there, having those nice, comfortable chairs, you are always going to have a place that you can sit down, relax, hang out with some friends. The fire, oh, I love the fire in the Gryffindor common room. I could just visualize, man. I could see the snow falling down outside. It's really cold, and me and a couple of friends are just sort of gathered around the fire there, sipping on some hot cocoa. And I also have to point out that of all the Hogwarts houses, at least the common rooms, Gryffindors, more than any other, reflects school spirit. You don't see it with any of the common rooms, actually, but with Gryffindor, they actually have the Hogwarts crest there. They actually have the other house crests featured throughout their common room on certain banners as well. They really seem to appreciate history with Gryffindor. I mean, that also goes when you have all those portraits as well. So let's give one final look at this and see if this matches up with my rankings and how I would actually feel. Gryffindor 100% is the one where I would want to live, where I want to spend most of my time if I was actually attending Hogwarts. Uh, number two here, for sure. Yep, it would definitely be Ravenclaw, even though it's a little too prim and proper for me. I still give it the edge over Hufflepuff. Again, the plants, all those plants all over the place. I mean, having a couple plants is one thing, but having that many... <coughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just getting choked up thinking about it. I could definitely see myself hanging out with some friends, though, in Hufflepuff and having a good time. And Hufflepuff, for sure, you feel like you could be more yourself. You know, you could let loose a little bit, whereas in the Ravenclaw common room, you've sort of always got to be on your best behavior. And then Slytherin, I mean, honestly, you guys, like, I, I don't dislike the Slytherin common room. But if I am ranking these with the, the criteria that I'm using of the house that I would most want to live in and hang out in, I mean, it's got to be Slytherin because of all those snakes... Just the, the cold feel of it. I'm constantly cold anyway. And that common room just looks super cold to me. Whereas Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, 
both look so warm. Ravenclaw's probably looks a little bit cooler than the others, but one look at the Gryffindor common room and you just know how warm it's going to be. But I really do mean what I said in the beginning. I think all of these common rooms are fantastic. So hopefully you guys won't be too hard on me in the comments. Definitely let me know what you think. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you haven't checked out my full breakdown of all four of these common rooms, I go super in-depth. I'm going to put all four of those on your screen now and you can choose whichever one you would like to watch. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you again soon.